Hey guys, and welcome back to a Let's Play of Spyro the Dragon. Let's finish up Dark Hollow. No you don't. I will not allow giant enemies to club me to death with a haunch of meat that's three times my size. Because that sounds absolutely painful. Hey, Yelvin. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Well, I of did. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Wait, what? Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Okay, A, I already knew that. And more importantly, B, how could they not bother you if you were turned into a crystallized dragon statue because of them? I'm pretty sure that would cause, like, a lot of concern, if not panic amongst you and all other, like, 80 dragons who got frozen. Anyways, um, I overlooked this in the previous video, but if you glide over here, there's some more gems to find. I sort of went off screen trying to find you know, all the other gems, and I actually took a few, actually not a few hours, <laughs> that'd be just plain ridiculous, but it took me quite a while before I re realized, you know, oh, there's gems over here, I should probably go get these. I didn't even bother to look. Also, I changed my camera mode to active in the options menu. So, hopefully, you know, I won't have too many problems with the camera. No, you don't. Sweet frogs, deaf to you, and deaf to you. Because I need to keep sparks healthy. You're blue. Why so blue? Turn yellow. Like so. You're glowing with awesome healthy powers. And the last dragon for Dark Hollow is Darius. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Okay, your voice is amazing and I want to hear you talk again. But if I replay your little clip, the viewer may get mad at me. So I'll have to save that for later. And return home for now, because we have completely completed the completionist of completions. That is the completion of Dark Hollow. I think I just used completion more than like five times in that one sentence. Did it make sense? Not really. Well, it probably did, but it just sounded pretty stupid, I bet. That aside, let us go down here and up this tower to Town Square, yeah. For some reason, I wanted to say Sunset Town, but that would just be silly. Entering Town Square. We have a total treasure of 700. We're just scratching the surface on, like, all the gems we can collect. Ah, double kill! And, what's more, for good measure, you never know what those dastardly chickens are planning. And you are... Nils. Okay. Sup, Nils? Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Oh, thank you. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. You no, know, you're actually helpful. I like you, Nils. You can't go up there because, well, you can't jump high enough. I like how the dragons here actually give you, like, useful advice, whether you know it or not, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, it takes two hits to kill these, but, you know, you only need to hit them once to shake them loose of their money. So you can just, like, disregard them after that. Special chest. Let's glide over here. And another one-up chest, because they like throwing these at us for whatever reason. Ooh, another dragon. I will free you, Devlin! Thanks, Spyro. You're welcome. Oh, I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oh, did you know I that have the you worst itch on my arm. Glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Thank you for advice, I already knew, but uh, let's continue on. Ooh! You know, I could wait for that bolt to kill him, but, you know, it's never gonna happen. So we'll do that for him. Oh! Ow! I didn't see him there. Now for that, I'll have to kill you. Like so. Alright, and I think we have 200 gems here. Yeah, 200 gems. So, before we go up and go kill that thief, I need to get the rest of the things over here. Four chickens. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. So many bulls. 
Yeah, once you knock them over, you have to flame them. Grab all these. Knock you in the face. And that should be... There's still another one. And that Matador. There we go. I'm gonna free you now. Alvar! <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? Yep. He's a thief! And he's huh? stolen a dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded! You're getting winded from talking? Man, that... That's saying something. Anyways, uh... Let's go get the rest of the gems in that last dragon. It's pretty weird, because you have to glide up and around this to get here. I didn't know that at first. But, uh, you know... After messing around for a while, I figured that out. Oh, no, 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 I messed up. I messed up there. Let's, let's try that again and not screw up this time. I'll forget about the gym. The thief is my first priority. Simply because ah, I did not get that jump. If you let him go through the tunnel and not really kill him, afterwards he does this really annoying jump and you'll miss him outright. You'll see what I mean, because I'll probably mess this up. Crud. He's already got a lot of distance. Now watch, he's gonna go to the left. Where'd he go? Ah, he ran back. Lovely. I do not care for these thieves. Anyways, he jumps here and he somehow magically does a high jump up to here and no. Runs all the way back to over there. Which makes us take a lot of time since we have to glide and all that. So he'll immediately get straight back to his starting point and just make us waste our time trying to chase him again. Like so! Aha! That's why we can kill him right here! And there is our second egg! Which makes it 2 out of 24, I think. There should be 24 eggs in this game. Now we can collect the rest of the treasure without too many worries. Sweet. So much money! Right, and there's no lock just in here, and I already left one over there. So you don't need to worry about finding a key or anything, which is pretty good. No, 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 no! Oh. I don't really, I really don't like all the gliding here, I'll be honest. All this gliding is making me annoyed. Especially all the, you know, the stair climbing. Give us escalators! We have magic in the world of dragons, I demand an escalator. Because doing this, must be tiring. Okay, once again. Ah. I'm making too wide of a turn. Third time's the charm, or fourth, whatever number this is, I'm not keeping count. Why would I? That should... Oh, you're kidding me. No, this is just being plain ridiculous. I'm failing to go on a simple glide! Oh god, people are gonna hit on me for this. Ah, I did it! All for the sake of some jewels. And that justifies everything. Ah, okay. There we go. Now we will not fall because that would be annoying. Grab these. And once more with another glide. Sweet. Also, killing you just, you know, to play it safe. Now, this is an interesting chest. Just gotta keep blowing with fire for that phantom spin to break that open. And that concludes all 200 gems for the town square. And we rescue Thor. Mighty voice, Thank mighty voice. for oh. releasing me. You just ruined my expectations of what Thor could be. Because, you know, Thor. You're expecting something awesome and manly, and like, you know, deep voice and, like, masculine. And we just got a wimp of a dragon. That's lovely. We're almost to 1,000 treasure, at least. But then that means we'll be, like, 1 14th of the way there. I do not want to fly up here. Ah, well. Anyways, uh, that concludes all of the artisans' homeworld, so I do believe we get to go to the boss area now. Since I was saving that for last, since, you know, it's the boss area. Doing that beforehand would be really weird. Too toasty! 
That must be one of the weirdest boss names ever. Then again, I think there's far weirder ones, but Toasty? That's almost cute sounding. So, we're in this huge, vast orange ocean, I guess. And we have 100 gems to collect before we go fight the boss. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! Yeah, these dogs can be annoying. It's trying to roll off the way, but, uh, only flames work on them. Aha! There we go. That's how I get rid of them. Ah! We can just run away from them. I'm already taking a lot of damage. This is not good. I'm running away. Being a pansy helps in this level. You're already burned. Your master is dead! Oh! I rolled right into you. Oh! 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 Really? They threw in a gem just as like a pity moment. No, you don't. Screw you, dog. Maybe I can. Do I'm not gonna be able to dodge that one. Sweet. I could. Wait, no, I have to kill him though for the gems. That's lovely. I guess I already got the gem from him. Eh, no matter. Sweet. Two hit combo. Ow. Okay, you're really being annoying. All of you are annoying. Therefore, I hate all of you. Well, that's all the gems for here, I do believe. So we'll continue on. Oh, great, more dogs. Aha! Ooh! Ah! Did not see that guy. Going around once again. I dodged that guy. Ooh! Still have to kill you. That's what you get for biting me or body slamming me or whatever you did. Right, any more gems? I don't think so. Okay, that dragon is before Toasty himself. So let's see what we can get out here. Oh god! Ah, oh, I thought I could get two hits on him. Yeah, I tend to die a lot in Syria just because of those annoying dogs. I hate those dogs with a passion. Ooh! Oh. Close. Okay, once more, but this time with full health. Because, you know, it's really... I, I just don't want to, you know, get hurt here. Aha. Death to you. And wherever you... Okay, there you are. And there you are. So that's all the gems for here. I'll have to double check in the previous room to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope, nothing. So I can kill you and free you. And you are Nevin. No regular names, huh? Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Toasty. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Really? I bet he has a pattern of two or three attacks, and that's it. Anyways, I need to save. And game save. Hooray! Are you toasty? Running! Get rid of that stupid dog. Oh, you gave us free money. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're gonna throw freaking dogs at me of all things. As much as I love killing dogs, you know, being an animal lover and all. You're a sheep. Toasty is a sheep. This is not my kind of stick, you know. Killing dogs! Let alone burning them alive. Right? That's... No! Get back here. And death to you. Thank you. Sweet. And... We're done? 
Awesome. And that concludes the first world. So we can finally go to the Balloonist and move on to the next. 1,000 exactly. Alright, let's get out of here. So far, we're making pretty stable progress, which is pretty cool. You know, aside from me not being able to climb up some massively huge stairs and gliding across to a simple platform. But that aside, hello, Marco. Yep, I have been busy. Okay, let's go to the Peacekeepers. I'll just use your head as a boost. And apparently Spyro knows how to con uh, well not construct. Use balloons. And then again, they're fully automated. With nano machines. Lol, Metal Gear. Anyways, here's the Peacekeeper world, which is actually pretty weird, because you know. Welcome to Peacekeeper Not exactly peaceful. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Yeah, we'll do just that, and you were actually pretty cool. So we will do just what you said. They all look like silly little soldiers. No, you don't. You're not using that. A lot of gems to collect in this area for this homeworld. I mean, we have about 200. 100 more than the first one. Man. Oh god, you're gonna use that against me. Can't let you do that. Hey! No doing that. Can't even attack the cannon from such a close range. Unless you're all like suicidal or something. Dry Canyon! I think that's where I'll go first after I collect everything here. Also, if you fire these cannons, yep, you can shoot cannonballs. Fancy. Surely I won't need that to solve a puzzle eventually. And that looks downright hideous. Pools of poison. But that aside, let's kill the rest of these guys. No, you don't. Two for one. No mooning me. Mooning you pretty much warrants death. Money? No money. Money? Still no money. Kinda make me sad here, guys. I demand you to give me money. Just leave it around for me to collect. Really? I told you, mooning warrants death. You're no different from the rest. Not gonna happen. Let's actually, you know, sort of make him target this properly. Hey, hey, hey. Wow, this is nothing. Let's go this way and fake him out, so I don't know if I can aim this thing. I wonder, can I? I guess I can. Oh, I can push it. Okay, that works. That helps a lot. Let's push it to that target. And... Kablooey. We have a locked chest here. No, you don't. That's gonna be lovely. Hey, another balloonist. But let me grab these gems. And see what he wants. He'll probably tells us how to use the cannon. Hey, Magnus. Hi, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Yep. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. You sound like a brain dead moron. But it's okay. You're still awesome. To me, at least. Ice cavern. No, thank you. Let's see. Um. Is there anything else I'm missing here? Anything up there? Nope. Those are just the tops of the towers. For some reason, I thought there were gems up there. Oh man, that looks, that looks icky. You and your chests of devilish lockedness. Oh, I have to shoot cannonballs at you, don't I? You're not locked, you just need me to shoot things at you. Yoink. Yoink. Well, let's give it a shot, I guess. I don't know how this will work, but... Let's do this one first, and see what happens. Sweet, it works. It totally works, I'm a genius! For collecting gems, 